Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. In today's lesson, we'll talk about customer payment. So let's go to SQL, go to customer module, and you can see the customer payment is over here. So of course you can search all the previous payment by using the official receipt number, if you can remember. Okay. Or, um, or just use the company name okay, as a searching and you can see that when you click on the official receipt at the bottom here it will actually show you which invoice does this payment knock off without going into the system so then you can click on the new button to create the customer payment so same thing select a customer by typing their name if you cannot get the customer name, it's because the focus is not at company name. So now it's at company name too. Clear off all your data that you key. Click on the tab key on your keyboard. It will switch to another column. Tap again, it will move to another column. Tap again, it come back to company name. If you cannot remember the customer full name, just type the A here. Then you can just simply type anything. You will get the customer name. Okay. So, when you select the customer, all the outstanding invoice will be listed out, okay, together with cash sales or debit note, okay. Then you just need to key in the pay amount, let's say 1,000 ringgit, and put where you want to receive it. Let's say the customer pay by check, definitely you select your bank. And remember, many people will make a mistake is over here is when the customer make payment through uh, cash, and later on you bank in the cash to the bank the proper way is you should receive in cash then later on do another payment voucher from cash to bank you should not directly receive in bank it's because it's two separate transactions and the date will be different so it will sometimes will make you difficult to do the bank reconciliation later so do take this uh, in mind and Put the check number let's say this is a check from your customer then you just click on which invoice they want to pay if they say i don't know i just want to pay so you just type uh just knock off with the earliest that means the oldest um outstanding so let's say this 1000 they do not want to pay for one invoice they want to pay for multiple that means they want to make partially payment what you can do is but after you click on the invoice they want to pay, let's say, but they only want to pay 200 for this invoice. So you just type 200 and click on another, sorry, this one should be 800, let's say. Then this one is 200. So you can see total 1000 is separate payment to two bill. Then you just save it and click on the preview button. Then you can print out the official receipt for your client same things you can click on the print button or convert it by exporting the document to a PDF format then click on desktop let's say this is called Kitty OR official receipt save it minimize it then you got your official receipt in soft copy you can email to your client so this is how you do your customer payment and if you do have time do drop by at my facebook it's facebook.com slash syntax technologies you can get all the latest information regarding gst and sql accounting system or you want to watch previous tutorial video just go to my website syntax.com.my then click on youtube then you can get all the previous tutorial video which i already arranged them in a proper way of step-by-step -step learning. So that's all for today. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.